the strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, didn't just say this, he lived it. But here's something scary. The average man today has 50% less testosterone than his grandfather did. Think about that. Half the strength, half the drive, half the energy. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to boost your testosterone. Not through pills, not through shortcuts, but through ways that are proven by both science and sunnah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As Muslim men, we have responsibilities. We are supposed to be protectors, leaders. But how can we do that when we're tired all the time? when we lack drive, when we can barely wake up for Fajr. What you're about to learn isn't just going to boost your testosterone, it's going to change your entire life. The first thing we need to talk about is fasting. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to fast every Monday and Thursday. Now science is catching up showing us exactly why this is so powerful for men. When you fast, something crazy happens in your body. After about 12 to 14 hours without food, your testosterone levels start shooting up. Why? Because your body goes into survival mode. It starts optimizing everything, including your male hormones. Mondays and Thursdays aren't random. These two-day gaps are perfect for hormone optimization. You fast, your body recovers, you fast again. During the 30 days of Ramadan, your body goes through a complete reset. Your testosterone levels peak, your hormones optimize. Most of us destroy these benefits by sleeping all day and eating junk all night. So here's what you need to do. Start with Mondays and Thursdays. Don't break your fast with the junk. Stay active while fasting. Fasting is just the beginning. Let's talk about sleep because trust me, you're probably destroying your testosterone every single night without even knowing it. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, would sleep right after Esha and wake up for the Hajjud. Simple schedule. But there's something powerful here that most of us are missing. I want you to pull out your phone right now and check your screen time. I guarantee that most of you are scrolling till 2 or 3 a.m. and then you wonder why you feel weak, why you can't focus while you are always tired. Your testosterone peaks when you sleep, but not just any sleep. You need that deep sleep between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., those exact hours. If you miss this window, your testosterone tanks. The blue light from your phone is killing your sleep quality. So here's what you need to do. Sleep right after Esha and make sure you don't use your phone one hour before bed. Now, once you've fixed your sleep, you need to move. Because the third foundation is about how you use your body. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to wrestle. He used to swim. He wasn't sitting around all day. And there's a reason. If you want to boost your testosterone, you need to train like a man, the ones that challenge your entire body. And if you want to take it even further, start training like a warrior. Start learning wrestling. This is what builds real strength. Try to push your body with heavy weights at least three times a week. And add in combat sports if you can. If you can't afford a gym, do body weight exercises. Now let's talk about what you're eating. Because you can train like a beast, but if you're eating wrong, you're still killing your testosterone. The Prophet ﷺ gave us everything we need. Look at honey. 
he didn't just tell us to eat it, he called it a cure. Modern science found that raw honey boosts testosterone levels directly. Next, we have black seed. The Prophet ﷺ said it's a cure for everything except death. This also helps your body produce more testosterone naturally. The Sahaba ﷺ were also eating dates. They weren't just eating them for energy. They are packed with minerals that boost testosterone. Listen, your body needs zinc to make testosterone. You can find this in the foods the Prophet wasallam ate. Pumpkin seeds, red meat, eggs from proper free-range chickens. So here's what you should do. Start your day with black seed and honey. Eat real meat, not fast food. Next, let's talk about what kills testosterone. Every time you drink a can of soda, your testosterone drops for the next few hours. Imagine what happens when you drink this stuff every day. You need to cut out anything that comes in a box, anything with the sugar in the first five ingredients, all these fake drinks, and any meat that's processed. I know it's hard, these foods are everywhere, but you need to choose. Do you want to be strong or do you want to be comfortable? Now, there's something even more important than food that's killing your testosterone. It's how you live. Every time you watch something haram, your testosterone drops. Every time you waste hours on those websites, you are making yourself weaker. Science shows this stuff literally shrinks your brain. Allah didn't tell us to lower our gaze just for spiritual reasons. There is something physical happening too. When you constantly look at haram content, your dopamine receptors get fried. Your testosterone drops. Everyone's acting like these dating apps and haram relationships are normal, but they are destroying you mentally and physically. This is why marriage is half your deen. When you have a halal relationship, your testosterone stays stable, your stress levels drop, your brain works better. Everything just works. But most of us are doing the opposite, wasting hours on social media, following these Instagram models, watching garbage on TikTok. Listen, if you're not married yet, that's fine, but you need to protect yourself. If you want my personal help on this, you can apply for my one-to-one -one coaching below. Now let's talk about brotherhood. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum weren't just praying together. They were training together, eating together, and growing together. But now we are all isolated in our rooms, on our phones, playing games all day, never seeing sunlight, never building real brotherhood. Studies show that men who isolate themselves have a way lower testosterone. Your body literally produces less when you're always alone. It's like it knows you're not living right. That's why the masjid isn't just about prayer. That's why we pray together. We need that brotherhood. Look at successful Muslim men. They always have a strong circle. They train together. They push each other. They keep each other away from haram. Find brothers who pray, train with them and keep each other accountable. Now let's talk about your daily habits. Because everything we just covered starts with how you structure your day. Have you ever noticed how Salah has all these movements? The bowing, the prostrating, it's not random. Most of us rush through it. Stand, bow, up, down, done in two minutes. We are missing the whole point. When you pray properly, something crazy happens to your body. The sujood position drops your cortisol levels. It drops your stress. And when stress drops, testosterone goes up. Allah gave us these prayer times for a reason. Fajr wakes up your body. Zuhr keeps you balanced. Asr when you need energy. Maghrib to wind down. 
Esha to prepare for sleep. Your body was designed for this schedule. What you need to do is take your time in sujood. Feel every movement. Let the prayer do its job. Now we need to talk about mindset. Because without fixing what's in your head, none of this other stuff matters. Look at how social media destroyed us. We can't even lower our gaze anymore. Every time you open Instagram, fitna. Every time you go on TikTok, more fitna. Your brain is getting fried with the dopamine hits. You are addicted to the same things making you weak. Every notification, every like, every DM. It's all destroying your natural dopamine system. Your mindset shows in everything. How you walk, how you talk, how you carry yourself, even how you pray. Stop watching those TikToks and start living in the real world. Everything we covered today isn't just about testosterone. It's about being the kind of man Allah wants you to be. Strong in body, strong in the end. By the way, I made a free ebook on testosterone that's better than most courses out there. If you want to read this, click right here or check the link in the description below. And remember to sign up for my one-to-one -one coaching if you struggle with porn addiction. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.